How are you guys doing? This is USMC Doc 1.4 from JKOwners.com. And like I said before, I'm going to demonstrate to you guys how to change a U-joint, a typical JK axle, using normal, simple the hand tools you should have in your Jeep when off-roading. Okay, what I got here resting on my Bailey's Industry tubing bender. That's right, the tubing bender is getting pimped because, <laughs> hey, I won the bitch and they deserve some props. So, sitting here on my Bailey Industry tubing bender is a big fucking hammer. A pair of ice grips, regular flathead screwdriver, gloves, uh, and a socket just smaller than the cap on the U-joints, and then another socket or another piece of pipe or whatever, or like Goody asked, you could actually use a damn tuna can uh, that's bigger than the U-joint caps. And I'll demonstrate exactly how easy it is to change a U-joint. So, let's go and set up the camera. There we go, put on my gloves. Okay, now this is a JK Dana 44 Rubicon front shaft. Okay, never been disassembled. I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to take these bitches apart. Okay, the Rubicon axle, the U joints, which is right here, is held in place by C clips that come around the side. All you do is you take, you find the edge of the C clip, like that, and you can pop it right off. Okay, they're all fucking crusty and rusted. You take a hammer and you you tap the fucking U-joint, okay? And sorry, you tap the C-clip, watch. And you hear it go ping and it flies off. Okay? See the little C-clip? I'm make sure I'm getting a good view of this. Okay, so, C-clip. So, rotate it again. Find the other C-clip. Knock that one off. Rotate it around so I can find the other one over here. Knock that one off. Okay. All the C clips are removed. Now, what I'm going to do is take, make sure I'm centered. Now, see, this is bigger than the cap, like that. Okay? And the socket is smaller than the cap. So I'm going to go and take, put it up on top, rest the cap in the middle. Okay? Put the socket on the cap, with a nice smooth, nice big bearing surface, and then I'm going to whack it through. Oops. <laughs> uh, let me try not to whack the fucking camera again. Okay? I'm going to whack it until it pops off. Okay? See? There it is. I'm going to pull it off, and I'm going to place it aside, and I'm going to flip it over. Okay? Same thing. Take a nice back section there. down there. There. Okay. Now, take the caps off. Now, this one, as you can tell, the seals are kind of shot. Now, for, and then you would repeat for here. Okay. Now, reversing the process. Okay. Check this shit out. You go and you take all the caps off your U-joint. Okay. Making sure that you're not losing the needle bearings. If you got grease, put a nice glob of grease in there so that your little needle bearings don't fall out. Okay. Take your yoke, it can be a drive shaft yoke, it could be an axle shaft yoke, okay? And you slip it through, and then on, okay? Guestimate it, line it up. Oops. Take your joint, okay? Slide the cap over it, okay? And then line it up. And. Gently tap it in place until it's flush. Okay? This way you can get the C clip onto that side. Then you go and you slide your C clip into place like that. And then you flip it over. Okay? And you take the back of this and you gently tap it down. And what you're doing is you're sliding the C clip up against the machined edge. Then you go and take the other cap. Okay? Make sure it's all nice and lined up. You tap it in place again. Drive it flush. 
take the next C-clip. Okay? You put it in and you snap it in place. That's it. Now, the reason why I brought the pliers is because some U-joints, instead of having the C-clip on the inside, they'll have a C-clip on the outside. Where if you look, there'll be a little curly cue thing right here. And you take the pliers, okay, and you squeeze it, and it compresses it, and you pull it off the end. You put it aside, and you do the same thing for the other side. That's what's retaining the U-joint into the yolks. That's it. Less than five minutes, and I showed you how to change it out. In reality, with ta without talking, I can change out a U-joint in under five minutes. Well, thank you guys very much. And I'm USMC Doc14 from jkowners.com, showing you how to do a simple U-joint change.